everyone. Welcome back to another episode. This is Dallas here. We're here on episode 128 today, riding on Shivers. If you didn't see last episode, we did get a skeleton horse, which is pretty amazing. Um, pretty rare occurrence in my world since it rarely... I, I never have a thunderstorm, so it is pretty darn rare for me. But yeah, welcome back. I don't know what we're working on today. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I... <sighs> really, God, you're doing this to me right now. I was going to record such a peaceful episode. And you kill shivers? Oh, I seriously can't believe this right now. Last episode, I'm so excited to have this dang horse. And I just turn it on hard mode. And I start the episode, shoot a spider, walk over here to sleep real quick to explain what we're doing today. And a freaking creeper kills my horse. Now, my horse had like nine hearts. That should not kill him. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my gosh. I'm so mad right now. Like, I, I don't know what to do. We're obviously going to have to create a grave for him. Oh my gosh. And my name tag. Oh, uh, he had a name tag on him and everything. <laughs> Here's his bone. This is actually his real bone. I guess they drop bones. Oh my gosh. Well, before we do anything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I seriously can't believe this right now. He was here one second. And then he was gone. Just like that. Stupid creeper. That's all it takes. <laughs> it's okay, Terry. I know you don't want to leave your cave, but this is for shivers. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> all right, the gang's all here. Max, Riley, Pablo, Terry, Admiral, Spud. <laughs> Big Bertha couldn't make it. She was too busy sorting my books out. Um, dang. That happened so fast. Luckily, though, luckily, oh god, no, no. Oh, okay. There's one. We still have one over here. He's probably the real slow one. Um, please tell me where's. Okay, the other one's kind of running off. I'm gonna have to tame these guys soon. Oh man, dang it. <laughs> this sucks because I mean I just named him last episode and I start this episode all happy and then he just gets blown up. I would do this in the chapel, but these guys are being too much of a pain in the butt. Uh, we're going to go ahead and bury him here. <laughs> oh, God. That flower was right to where he got blown up to, and that is his actual bone, too. So this is kind of a proper burial, I guess you can say. <laughs> um, I'll just get this over with. There. I should put the saddle in there with it. You know what? Why not? I have enough saddles. Good old... Oh, I don't I don't have dirt. Uh, um, you know, I'm going to use stone because it'll look like someone's actually buried. No, wait, dirt. Dirt's, dirt's good. Dirt will work just fine. There we go. Okay. Shivers, I am so sorry. Uh, okay, so how am I going to do this real quick? Shivers, you can have right here. Shivers... And then, oh, oh, I don't know the dates. I'll put the date on there, though. It's just going to be like a one-day date, though. Uh, oh, yeah, I need to say a little something. Shivers, you had a short life. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you all for coming, guys. You were forced here. I know you want to get back to your cave and collect flowers. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's get down to business, though. I, can't, I still can't believe this happened. <laughs> Terry, stop complaining. Shivers loved you. And you guys can all stay in the big house. If that's cool with you guys, of course. Uh, well, of course it is. I'm giving you the opportunity to stay here. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm almost done. Just gotta get Spud and Admiral. And then we can move on. Man, I was just about to make Shivers his own stall, too. His was gonna be right here. But nope. Nope. Still got these dumb horses, though. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go over here and get his brother and sister. I guess so. Because they spawned with him, of course. There's one right there. I know one's very, very slow, so I'll never ride him. But the other one's decent. I never 
checked his jump though, so let's see which one this one is real quick. Nope. Uh, there we go. Uh, I think he's the, uh, oh gosh, I think this one's the halfway decent one. I think the other one might be super slow. I hope not. <laughs> man, I want Shivers back, man. He was such a good horse. And these are really rare for me because I never have lightning storms. All right, sir. You've done your time, but you can leave. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I forgot which horse this is. Um, you know what? I kind of like that horse. I want to keep him in there. Oh, I have another one down here. Duh. You stay there. I'll figure out what I want to do. <laughs> Let me go grab the other one real quick. I'm going to have to do a lot of fishing with for uh, name tags again. What I realized, though, I put the... I put two and two together and realize my fishing rod I have now has luck of the C3 and lure 3 and that's bad all I need is luck of the C3 and I need to take lure 3 off because lure attracts more fish so that kind of decreases my chance of getting name tags and whatnot so yeah that's the problem <laughs> I'm gonna have to go just make a luck of the C3 one oh yeah oh god they're both slow I'm not gonna be able to use either of them Dang it. We're just going to have to wait for another lightning strike one time. I guess normally I sleep out the thunderstorms. This Now that these guys are in the game, I'm just going to have to, when a thunderstorm happens, just wait. So, yeah, I'm going to put these guys up. We're done with horses for today. And we're going to go do what I was wanting to do today. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, so I'm still working on this down here, of course. Um, I've been working on the enchantment area. Um, Big Bertha, where were you? You don't look like you're doing too much with bucks. Couldn't even make it to Shiver's funeral. How dare you? All right. <laughs> anyway, um, this is the way I was going to make it. Um, I kind of got just a little hallway here, and it's going to go into this right here, which is the. Uh, this is a cool thing over here. This is our. Duh oh, my God. I almost forgot to crouch. This is our diamond mine, and uh, I said mine, mine, and I'm going to put glass around this. So it'll be like a cool display for the library in here, but I'm still deciding what I want the library to be like. Um, right now, I hate this design. I am getting rid of it right now as fast as I can. Um, I've just been torn on what to do, so I'm just going to try my best and think of another way. I want there to be a lot of detail in here. I want this to be one of my main enchanting rooms. And then, of course, I think I want to hook a, a minecart up to my XP room with this so I can move back and forth to enchant stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to work on this. Okay, so I've been working on it a little bit, and I like how it's turning out. Um, normally, I was trying to go for, like, I guess a public library look, but I need to... I don't want to do that since I'm basically the only one on this world besides a few people that aren't human. Well, Big Bertha, but <laughs> um, I decided I'm just going to make it like my personal library and make it all really nice looking. So I'm just trying to collect a few things here. I saw this on a picture before. Need two of those. It's kind of like, a, I guess you can say like an antler or it just looks like a moose head kind of not or not moose more like deer uh, i guess moose since it's a darker color but i don't know i could probably make a better one but this is the best i can look at it or make it look i didn't get a whole lot done yet i'm just kind of getting a feel for it kind of <sighs> i need to mess with those stepping stones um yeah so i'm gonna make it a high ceiling as you can see this is kind of what i have so far um just like a corner with book shelves and like a ladder to get up of course this is going to be like the main fireplace i like how that turned out um and then we're going to this is kind of what i saw they had like they look all right yeah and then oh crap you need blocks under here to place these nope no nope. uh, there we go yeah I think that looks alright. Looks sort of like a moose head. Oh my, that actually does. I like that. <laughs> it's, 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 ah, I can't even talk. <laughs> it's as close as you can get to a Minecraft moose head. Yeah, I like it. 
And then, I don't know if I like, I might put a fire in here, I'm not for sure yet. I'll surround it, as, surround it with uh, coal as best as I can. Or not coal. Stone. I, just ignore me. I need to finish this and then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. I probably won't finish the whole thing, but I'll try. Alright, in the storage room situation, I have decided what I think I'm going to do with it. Um, so as you know, we were thinking about doing an automatic storage room for the longest time. Last episode, I showed you uh, my storage room in my creative world that is not going to work because Pocket Edition is just buggy, plain out. Um, and this is the one we have as of right now that I know works in Pocket Edition. I know there might be a few others that you guys might know, but... I don't know if I want to do an automatic storage room because as of this design, each block, I mean each chest is designated to one block and you know how many chests we'll have to have because I want to be able to store everything in our game and this is going to require lots of hoppers, lots of naming buttons and lots of chests and this would go on forever and this would take many many episodes to complete. And I've decided I'm I'm just not going to do it like this. Um, as of right now, our storage room is way up on the third floor of our house. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm still going to have the storage room down here. But I'm not going to make it automatic. I'm going to make it a big, big room. Make it look really good. Just lots of detail. And I'm going to have just like giant walls full of chests. Uh, just with item frames on them. I'm not going to do anything automatic. I'll have a lot of redstone contraptions in here. But it won't have to do with store. Well, it might be. A few things will. But I have a plan in mind, so we will not be doing this design. And I'm going to start on this next episode. And um, I have a few other things I'm going to do in this room that I cannot wait to show you guys. Because I've been holding it back for a while. And one of them has to do with the ore vault. If you guys know what that is. I've been planning that for a while. Just a place to store all of my ore. And um, I've always wanted to do that, but I've never gotten around to it. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah. I'm going to go collect some dark oak wood, and uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Is this what I think it is? I think it is. <laughs> I remember this big hole I used to have here. I always used to have a big hole by my house. I wonder what this covers it up now. Oh, it's just grass. Huh. Yeah, I don't know where this le- Oh, wait, is this the ite mine? <gasps> I think it is. If you guys don't know what the ite mine is, I've had this here for a while. Yeah, it is. <laughs> right here. I just call it the ite mine because there's a lot of andesite, diorite, and uh, granite down here that I still have yet to gather because I don't really need it. But looks like we might have an extra entrance. Maybe. No, I won't make that an extra entrance. Um, how far does it go, even? Whoa, what's this? Oh, it comes out here, too. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Well, I went out to gather dark oak wood. Because I think it goes way better with spruce, like spruce spruce logs. I did. I was using spruce wood, but dark oak goes way better with that. So, yeah, I'm just going to make like it's kind of going to be a big square room. In the center, I'm going to have furniture just to relax on. I think I want this right here. Let me test this real quick. Where is it? Is it in here, Bertha? What'd you do with it? There it is. Okay. I need to test if I can get level 30 on this over here. I think you can, but I don't know. Yeah, you can't. No, you can't. Huh. Oh, boy. Hmm. I might have to try something else then. Darn it. So here I go again to rob all the bookshelves from our main library here. <laughs> I keep doing this. I don't know why. Um, well... As soon as I get my cow farm going again, I'm sure I can get lots and lots of book shelves. Um, oh yeah, luckily I have a stack in here, that's awesome. Um, so yeah, I want to know your guys' input on this. This room right here. I know I'm making kind of like a personal library right now, but do you guys still think I should turn this into like a major library? I still want to very bad, it's just very hard to work with this kind of design. Still got a lot of fixing up to do. I Actually, yeah, I think I will because I can't think of anything else this could be. I know this could even be my storage room too, but I want my storage room to either be on the ground level or a little bit below the ground level because I'm tired of climbing things to get to a storage room. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I might still turn this into like a, like a master major library. I don't know. Something like that. Oh. Oh, that's where that hole came from. Okay. <laughs> Guess we can just go down here real quick. 
Oh, that was a mistake. Oh well, <laughs> not really. Okay, yeah, not much progress done either. Um, I'm still trying to experiment a bit. Over here is where I'm going to um, put... Now, over here, this isn't a level 30 enchant, but I've seen people do tricks where you can put a bookshelf right there and right there and then cover that up. They usually cover them up with stairs like that because those are transparent, but that not so in pocket edition, you cannot do that. Um, I could probably put trap doors in front of it, but I might just use these for just like displays of books. And then over here, I have decided I'm going to make this my main 30 enchant area. I'm kind of going to make this like a tall bookshelf area. Um, then of course have it right in the center there. That'll be kind of a nice area. And then I got to think of a floor design, ceiling design, which I'm hoping I'll try to get done this episode, but I don't think I will, to be honest. <laughs> um, I don't even think this room will be done, but it'll be done before next episode. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode for today. Um, losing shivers has gotten me really sad. No, I am just need to get some stuff done. <laughs> um, I'll have that personal library finished by next episode but today's question comes from uh how do you say that like is it yitzier yitzia is that how you say it yitzier garcia <laughs> hope so um they ask when do you think you'll finish the underground base um now that is a good question because that's my main priority right now i if the main underground base is just everything underground of course this right here I've got lots and lots of stuff to do, such as um, I need to touch up all this. I need to get rid of all this dirt right here and make it all stone, which I kind of like the formation it is at right now. Um, so all I basically have to do is just replace all of it with stone, kind of make it look a little bit less flat right here, kind of spice up the area. I'm thinking about getting rid of some of this water. I don't know. I might, no, I kind of like it. Um, but yeah, I just got to do a lot of different stuff down here such as this. I need to create like some sort of pathway through here. Um, I've got lots of different hallways that are going to lead everywhere. i got to put all these lamps back up because I keep stealing them for other things. <laughs> Finish the skeleton spawner in here. Oh man, and of course the storage room, which is the biggest part, which is coming up soon. Um, but yeah, that's I, my plan is to finish it all before episode 150, which is of course download day, and it's this is episode 128, so... Yeah, I got just about 20 episodes left, somewhere around there. <laughs> I think I can do it. That's a lot of episodes, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye, shivers.